Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Rise of the Robots run where we're trying to beat the game with psionically active characters and sparks alone. It was quite a defense that we put up in order to um, repel the Chosen and the game just really doesn't give us a break at all. Just as we're done with uh, the defense, of course, the next challenge comes around. And that's really where the um, ever so vigilant sparks are excelling. They just have been in missions over missions over missions and they still continue to stay strong. I absolutely love that about them. No sign of fatigue whatsoever. So we got Roby. Roby's unfortunately still tired. We got Quick Feet here whom I hope we can just with a tiny bit of bouncing around new can hopefully get onto our roster very good so that should work we only need to carefully scan a very very short amount of time elsewise things are not looking that great and you're going to miss the mission so let's try that again and uh, I don't know he's still out I can't I, I don't want to risk any anything so instead we're going with XQS 6 true rebel and whom else really got no one I mean we could put Magister on it but we're risking another negative trade we have plenty of negative traits to catch up with so this is really going to be one of those runs where we are taking another character in this case toxic making weapons available make utility items available and it is three rookies and three sparks once again as if we wouldn't have had that quite often in the past we're going to leave uh, an XQS 6 with the nice little shredder gun instead of the heavy blaster Shredstorm is 6 to 9 Plasma is actually 7 to 10 I like it, I like it it doesn't shred as much as the Shredstorm cannon but it's a bit more damage I think we're going with the Shredstorm cannon though yeah I think oh wait this is the Shredstorm cannon uh, I messed it up yep there we go I was like hmm, since when was the blaster stronger than the Shredstorm cannon no we're going with the Shredstorm cannon because that is shredding and at 8 to 11 points of damage perfect that's exactly what we were looking for we're going to use a blue screen rounds and our mimic beacon here superior repeater just so that we have that extra kill already mentioned that i am suspecting we're going to fight against the alien ruler again so let's see how well we're going to fare with this team that's a three uh, x three team three rookies three sparks let's go Menace 1-5 just landed and we got to get to that access point. So, neutralize all enemies and what is our target? Our target is data download, which is perfect because we can do that from afar. There is a train, train means high ground and our sparks absolutely have no problem getting up there and fighting in the open. So, given that we only have seven rounds, I don't want to waste any time. Enemy patrol sighted. I don't want to waste any time. Instead, we're going to march up. Moving on target location. Glaive is going to move in as well. like the idea that XQS6 is taking a bit of a side position here. We got our fire uh, line and I'm wondering 
It's probably the best idea since there are only 11 enemies to directly start with our pull. I don't see any towers, so there's no need to uh, use a massive shredding gun. Let's just double check what the hack could offer us. Always check the hacks first. Since we have Gremlin rank 3, there is a good chance. Squad side is not bad. Well, it's actually pretty damn good. But we don't, the chance is too low. We can see the tech score is relatively high. And although the max can hack, their innate tech score isn't on par with what specialists normally could do. Good. I would say we're just going to start this year with a solid shot. Overwatch. Let's do an overwatch and for him also and wait a second now for him also an overwatch. Having those two overwatches we got a mimic beacon just in case we feel we need it. And there's the critical hit. Hunter is triggering. These are bonus overwatch shots. That was one of the normal overwatch shots that we have taken. And thanks to the stocks, we do not even up um, need to hit always it's always the chance of that little extra bit of damage if you're missing there we go all right one overwatch and it's probably going to be the chosen coming in who would have guessed right it wouldn't have been a very difficult mission uh, with only 11 enemies if it wouldn't be for Chosen. So yeah. So little time. Chosen comes in. Fear of the Chosen, even if that would go through, would immediately stop at the beginning because we got a resistance order that prevents that from choices. happening. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Okay, got six turns and we're slowly but surely moving our way towards the target. Just want to make sure that we carefully begin moving towards uh, the target. Hunter triggered again. We're definitely taking the high ground up here. And at the same time, we're moving straight up. Blue, uh, blue moves first to make sure that everybody is in position before we continue to move on. going to kill them which is why I don't have a big issue with that letting XQ6 sort of have only the cover from the right hand side I think there might be something coming from here but that's pretty much about it not far enough so yeah maybe I'll put him into real cover before we do that though Let's see what we can do. I would like to use as little of the cooldowns as possible. Let's start with Vector here. Oh, that's 100% hit. Love it. Same here, that should be a kill. Want you back on the tactical side, Commander. 
Good, let's just get rid of most of the cover here, shall we? This here is less so for damage, but more for cover removal and consequently afterwards for hopefully getting this guy down. I said hopefully for getting this guy down. Thank you. Let's just overwatch for now. Sustenance into him kind of running in. And since we did got uh, did have a stock, that's a 100% kill. Two rounds, effectively two packs killed. And we're rocking the, the third pack. Hunter triggers again. I absolutely adore uh, this ability. 33% might not look like a lot, but it turns out to be pretty decent. We got two more mutants coming in from the actual from the actual hack side. Okay, cool. Okay, moving over. Still preserving that high ground over here. Very good, so that works out well. Just a moment. Hmm. I wonder if this is just really one One mutant, and that's about it. Hard to believe. All right, that's a perfect chance for us to use our shred uh, shredder gun. Let's remove as much cover as we can. This here is pretty hard to destroy cover, almost indestructible. It's great to see it go. That tells us there's no kind of mutant that hit behind here, but we can't see him. I think we're going to take one overdrive. Mainly because I want to deal with the Andromedon really fast. Good, down to the Andromedon suit. We're team working because I think it's a good turn to do that. That the rookies with the blue screen rounds take a lot of uh, the job here. 15 points of damage, that's fantastic damage. True Rebel might be able to even finish him. And there's the finish. Thanks to blue screen rounds, not a problem. Newton is a bit far away from us, and I'm wondering what the best course of action is going to be. It's barely out of range. I mean, of course, yes, we could just blow up that entire building over there.
Maybe that's the right course of action. I just don't know. Let's try to blow it up. That also gives us a good vision on the actual target. Interesting. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, well, we need a mimic beacon, that's for sure. Good that we saved our action. Okay, this here is more finishing up quite a few of them. And effect killing three. Reloading. I want to make sure that we're not hitting that we're not hitting that psionic bomb. And it said that each of these uh, three are going for the mimic beacon, hopefully. Blazing pinions is okay. I don't mind that. I wanted to move anyways, so not a big deal, as long as we're not being targeted by a uh, psionic bomb, because that would have costed us a lot of momentum just to lose all of uh, the ammunition. And yeah, it was interesting to see on the one hand side On the one hand side, the mutant was just moving into a really, really strange position, right? He was moving back there. <laughs> okay. I think it's quite funny to see that there is still a tower intact after all of that. So the mutant was moving into a really strange, almost bizarre place. And I figured, yeah, that's no, there's not going to be another pack. But then again, it seems uh, it seems as if the pack would have moved out. Moving up. Very nice hit. Continuing to move up, and I really want to get rid of the Archon first. That's good. We need to reload soon. Good. Now let's make short pro, uh, pro, uh, progress with that tower here. I don't want to use overdrive, but I also don't want stupid things to happen and we don't have a plan B, so overdrive it is. Just hoping that that would be a 100% hit. It's not, thankfully. We have two shots. There we go. What's the right decision? Good. I think the Chosen is the only enemy that is left over. Of course, with the exception of a couple of fools that are coming in.
Alarium core, superior laser sight. I like the core, the laser sight, mm, not so much. Good. Moving into full cover. Reload Overwatch. I don't like his position, but I want to get an Overwatch shot. So that's two Overwatches, Vector Reloads, and Overwatches, Glaive Reloads, and Overwatches. Let's move here because standing in the open is just not a very good idea. Yeah, still not good. I don't want that defense and movement bonus on uh, bonus on the enemies. We could move in further. I don't want to do that. We might trigger another pack. So we're going to be very careful, but just move into here and that's about it. Okay, that's another tower. We can't just kill it. So we're going to go far enough to the back. We will still have chances for overwatch shots with that mech, so double movement wasn't the worst idea. But you can see even small movements might kind of reveal that one extra enemy. That's a nice little hit. Okay, undying loyalty keeps him uh, keeps him up. Interesting. A lot of hit points to chew through. Oh, you could hide, eh? It's really not that either of these things here is super difficult to get rid of. Like I said, it's just a lot of hit points. Rebel needs to reload. Let him take the zombie. The zombie down. There might be yet another undying loyalty zombie right over here. Luckily, that's not the case. This here should not trigger anything. But it allows us the 100% kill chance for this guy. We're still okay with a network shutdown. Glaive moves over here. Next turn we can hack. Good, let's hack the workstation. Like I mentioned, it is important to uh, have someone with ranged hacking capabilities. We don't need the tech, can get that, ex uh, try to get uh, that extra income. And look at that, we were successful. Better would have been um, to get uh, that enemy protocol, which is a permanent increase in the hacking capabilities. That for sure would have been a fantastic reward, passive reward for the max here. Armor 
Not moving in too far. Don't want to trigger the Chosen yet. Back online. Down to 1 HP, which is fine. Our repeaters will get that eventually. Not the repeaters, uh, the stocks, sorry. Good. Normally I would not stand in the open. Try to keep that flying fortress of yours intact long enough for me to find it, Commander. The other two obviously don't know how to handle it. We've got the chosen right where we want them. Well, look at that. We got some more stun lances. The whole summoning of these guys is just incredibly annoying. Mainly because they are just additional hit points. Ouch. Okay, cool. So, overdrive, let's start. Couple of things um, just for hygiene, self repair. Very good. Secondly, a big fat Shredstorm cannon. Just to get almost all of it out of the way. Bam. Yep. I think Advent's been letting some of the rejects since the production lately. And he is vulnerable for hits from high ground. Well, too bad for him because he's going to eat quite a few of these going forward. Moving up. question is really how do we want to deal with both of uh, them I think we're going for the stun lancer first even though it means he will maybe even get another shot off on us Keeping our rookies in the back. I don't want any severe injuries. Enemy down. Position confirmed. This here will damage him even if we miss. On, focus. That's it. No. Oh, he gets kinetic plating. Ah, that's of course unfortunate. I think Mimic Beacon will not help with him. I'll give it a try, but I'm pretty sure he will ignore it. Can't really do much else in terms of actual damage to him. Good, he's moving over. Well, good. 
Good job. Trying to throw a grenade onto an all robot team. That was, of course, fantastically plan uh, planned from him. Masterfully executed. Very good. This here should be our flanking shot that we were looking for. Hundred percent. Reloading. And oh, let's continue to harass this guy. So the answer is yes, the Mimic Beacon of course doesn't help against any Chosen, even if they don't have an ability, a sensible ability left over. And B, yes, the Chosen does not understand the concept of uh, Sparks and why they are immune. So with the exception of one shot that we took, well, it was a pretty uh, decent mission. Front to back, the three Sparks just cleared the house. And we are back. Good. Vector uh, needs some rest, but yeah, we'll we'll get him back to lightly wounded. Hello, Commander. We got a Colonel Grenadier, which we will never use. Good job that you're on board. Kind of towards the end, we're getting getting to know the. Uh, grenadier class the game just explained to us what the grenadier class is shows you how deeply invested we are in all of the th uh, four basic classes right okay now it's a bit of wound licking to be honest we wanted to get to the chosen didn't fully work out and yeah we got the we, we need the infirmary and a couple of other things Got another nice resistance contact. That was fantastic. Raul still stays strong. Let's take a look what else we can do. Good. Um. This is plus one damage for the Templar's pistol, permanent. That's not too bad. I mean, we're using it uh, from time to time, so why not? Any soldier could do it. Hogbite, of course, would be preferred for it. And, oh, there's a high chance that the soldier will be wounded. Ah, game try to trick us here in which case Raul you're going to be the sheep that we're going to use so that's a good one what else I think afterwards we're just continuing to go for the warlock Good, we got one more territory to expand, so let's use that wisely. Don't have enough money to build another tower, and our only expansions are New Australia and kind of Central West Asia. That here isn't bad. Okay, so that would probably cost too much intel. I want to save some. There's no need to immediately do that. Good, permanently reduced all resistance drops by 50%. That stinks a lot. And we got all negative traits removed. Might as well use Hogbite next. 
it will take 10 days but he has quite a few negative traits and i just want them removed while someone else is doing missions Good, Roby finished one of his trainings. Let's get sustenance. And let's also take a look at our soldiers here. So still got Roby. Um, we got Renman shaken for 11 more days. <coughs> well, Chosen will need to wait at least 11 days because I want the Psyops with me when we're doing that mission. And finally, we got the training center. Good. We deployed all of our engineers, so that's great. We could increase the bonds of some of our soldiers. Yeah, why not? Rookies with a level two bond. I think that is hilarious. And let's take a look at some of our general our general options here. So we already know his abilities. I think he can still take channel just to get a bit more out of what he currently has. Fortunately, we can't uh, use the uh, the psyops in the training center. And we cannot use rookies or sparks either. Hogbite finally pretty much has everything that he needs. So I guess we're giving him channel just so that he collects more energy as well. Okay, cool. I figured the Psyops might be able to use the training center as well, and uh, that is not the case. I misremembered that, unfortunately. Okay, so what else are we doing? I think we're just uh, continuing to heal fast, and since we have a lot of intel, let's also take a look at the black market. That's usually one of uh, the resources that you should check regularly just so that you can spend that resource. Okay, in terms of buying Superior Expanded Magazine, definitely something that's worthwhile buying. It's a fantastic addition. Superior Conditioning isn't bad either. Don't need it necessarily at this point. Don't need an additional Warlock, uh, an additional engineer we could use an additional warlock if that's a playable if that would be a playable character okay cool so yeah we got another weapon upgrade which is pretty meaningful and let me just double check something i if i'm not mistaken if I am not mistaken, we had weapon upgrades, two slots only. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Let's take a look here. I thought that we had the breakthrough for the third slot. Maybe I misremember that. Oh, here, modular assault rifles. No, it needs 10 more days. But yeah, having that extra expanded magazine already helps to kind of get more weapons and now we're healing faster we are not lucky the hellfire projector is unfortunately not what we've been looking for let's continue with experimental powered weapon We 
Yeah, that's why we didn't send Hawkbite into it. Yeah, we can't do that mission. We could recruit another engineer, a superior PCS, but that requires a sergeant. Facility lead. A lot of these things require a sergeant, and Hogbite is still how many days until he's uh, ready? Oh, 16, because he has two of them. Mm, ouch. Okay, do we have anyone else? Shaken for eight days, tired for four days. Hmm. Things are not looking too pretty. So, let's in this case just wait. It's not the end of the world. Of course, it's always good to have a couple of missions. Good, we gotta kill her soon. I don't want another sabotage. He's now finally training. He just got a setback and another dark, an additional dark event. Wow. Let's hear what sucks. So stiletto rounds is probably the one that we want to counter. Overall, the rest pretty much looks solid. Not much that we would change now. Good. Breakthrough research. Durability of heavy armor increasing plus one hit point. Okay. We got a winner. Let's do that for seven days. That's a pretty decent one. Gives everyone essentially plus one hit point. Continuing to heal. That's all still thanks to that massive attack that we've suffered. Let's check who's available. So Spark is available. Spark is available. Spark is available. Roby would probably be available. One more day of tired. Five more days of shaken. Yeah. Gotta get rid of the shaken first. And then we're going to go for the chosen. The two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. If we continue to send them out together in the field, their effectiveness will only grow. Good. The rookies continue to train. Which is hilarious because they are already bond level two. Maybe we can even get rookies with bond level three. Yay. Shaken for two more days. We're almost there. And we're instead getting a small ambush, which we're going to go uh, do first. Probably not going to be too better down by that. Maybe we're using our sparks and rookies uh, since it's one more day for these guys to get back on track. Fear of panic. That's such a stupid fear. Obsessive reloader isn't great either. Another obsessive reloader. We got a lot of work to do to get those guys back in business. And Hogbite here is the worst offender with just a lot of fear for everything. Luckily, we're removing that at this point. Okay, so, by the way, another super good advantage for the Sparks. You don't have to deal with all of that bullshit. They are not uh, susceptible to fear. Good. We're getting all of the three Sparks ready. And whilst we're doing that, who's accompanying them? I think Magister is a sure uh, pick for that. 
So we got Magister, three Sparks, probably Roby, just because I want a Psy Operative, and we got Quick Feet, because he's ready as well. And why not? Let's use that. Sounds like a good team. And that's going to happen in the next episode. Yet another retaliation mission. Whilst we're almost done with our research, we're going solidly into the end game, getting kind of these little um, add-ons here and there. And soon we're going to start with the Shadow Chamber. And I also want to kill the Chosen. Wow, that's a lot of dark events already. Got seven running dark events, although we did pretty well to... Um, resolve most of the dark events overall anyways if you like the content hit that uh, uh, like button and leave a comment down below and we see each other in the next episode bye bye guys